Tides in do dirt south do. Tide, the wash day miracle that gives you the cleanest clothes in town, brings you in person, direct from Hollywood, that zany, lovable clown of clowns, Red Skelton. T-I-D-E, Tide presents Red Skelton. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for allowing me to come back into your homes again this week. I haven't done anything this week, and I've been dying to come out here and tell you about it. <laughs> you know, last week I announced it was National Pickle Week, and they sent me a great big bottle of pickles. A great big bottle of pickles. <laughs> this week is National Secretary Week. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I have a male secretary. It's part of the cure. <laughs> no, I have a woman secretary, and she's really smart. I said to her the other day, in a few weeks, I'm going to buy you a typewriter. She says, what's that? <laughs> Warm up the car, boys. <laughs> I don't know how old my secretary really is, but she has a water bottle that's contained with... <laughs> I don't know what it's contained with. <laughs> No, she has a water bottle that's contained with Seratan. <laughs> I'll let it go. I asked her if she used chlorophyll, and she says, uh, no, I'm just naturally green. <laughs> Get the car running, boy. <laughs> Little Richard came in the other day, and he says, uh, can I have a secretary? I says, you can't even read or write. He says, I may not be able to read or write, but I sure can dictate like the dickens. <laughs> A lot of things have happened this week. I saw the arrival this morning of Eisenhower on television. They gave him... Oh, uh, thank you very much. One Republican here? <laughs> yeah, they gave him a 17-gun salute. <laughs> and Taft stood in the background yelling, Lore! Lore! <laughs> Quite a crowd there. <laughs> the, uh, so that the people could see in the back, all the Republicans were standing on boxes, and the Democrats were standing on top of the Republicans. <laughs> Say, by the way, last week, uh, I, uh, Johnny Ray stood still long enough to get married. <laughs> Johnny Ray, that's the guy that throws fits between songs. <clears throat> get it going, will you? <laughs> oh, I got, it, I got one for you. There were two seagulls. Two seagulls flying over the beach on Memorial Day, and one of them looked down and he says, Why, Gertrude. <laughs> Her name's really Sally, but Gertrude sounds better. <laughs> and it's Gertrude. Look at the crowd. Did you ever see such a crowded beach? And the other one says, No. Sort of takes the sport out of it, don't it? <laughs> They tell back to Johnny Ray. They tell me that he has uh, <laughs> he has quite a family. All together, there are twelve in the pit. <laughs> there are two seagulls. <laughs> oh, did you read this week too, where Tommy Manuel, uh, Manville got married again? <laughs> Manuel, that's what it is, boy. <laughs> Tommy Manville got married, and there's eight all. Together. This is his eighth wedding, you know. It was very quick. He says I do, and the girl says I sue. <laughs> The other day, Richard came in and he says, Hey, Balloon Boy. I said, Why do you call me Balloon Boy? He says, I cause them the way I see them. <laughs> he says, You know, I'm going to get married. I'm going to marry the little girl whose father owns the candy store down the street. And I says, uh, Oh, you are? He says, Yes. I says, Well, he says, I'm going to have ice cream sodas all the time. I says, well, we're going to miss you around here. He says, oh, I'll be back for supper. Don't worry. <laughs> as soon as we eat all the ice cream sodas, we're going to have an annulment right away. <laughs> there were two seagulls. <laughs> the other day, Richard uh, went over to Gene Fowler's, and Gene came over, and he says, boy, that kid really let me have it. I says, you, uh, Richard, did you, did you kick Mr. Fowler? He says, I cannot tell a lie. I did. I says, where did you kick him? He says, in the shins. I'm not very tall, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They're all making... Ch children are always making up stories. Valentina came in the other day, my little girl. She came in and she says, that big dog down the street, he bit me. 
Fleur. I said, well, there's no teeth marks or anything there. He didn't bite you. He says, she says, well, maybe he didn't bite me, but he sure tasted me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the other day, we went over to Griffith Park, and we looked at the monkeys over there, and that little Richard says, you know what? That monkey's tail is longer than my arm. And I says, well, I wouldn't say that. I says, that monkey's tail is about 10 inches long, and your arm is about 20 inches long. He says, where are you measuring from? I said, from the shoulder. He says, well, extend the same courtesy to the monkey, will you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it gives me great pleasure and quite an honor to introduce Los Angeles uh, County Supervisor, Leonard Roach. Mr. Roach. Yeah. Well, Red, I just want you to know that Official bodies in Los Angeles County appreciate this wonderful, clean, honest humor that you give to our great citizenry here. And the Board of Supervisors, together with the Downtown Businessmen's Association, have caused to make this scroll, a very lovely scroll, which I want to present to you and to tell you, and this scroll will do it officially, that you are their nominee for Father of the Year. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Skelton Scrapbook, Tornado Dead Eye. You know, every cowboy's horse comes first. I just can't take no dance on Well, maybe your pal Dead Eye will take me dancing. Well, Dead I might if he ever gets here. You see, he was detained. Really? By the sheriff. Oh. You know that Dead Eye, I, I just don't understand why he won't be honest like most citizens in this town. How many honest citizens are there in this town? Well, I, the only way I can tell is go over to the cemetery and count them. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have a drink. How about you? You going to have a drink, girl? Thanks, Texas. All right. What do you have, partner? Well, the usual. I'd like a glass of milk for my ulcers. Put a couple of slugs of gin in there for the rest of me. <laughs> there you are. Thanks very much. There you are. Say, uh, Cactus. Yeah? How about doing that there little dance for us, boy? No, I don't feel like dancing, fellas. No, I just don't feel like dancing. Well, I tell you, we sort of like to see you dance. I reckon you're going to dance. Well, now, look here. You ain't going to threaten me. I don't want to dance. No one's going to force me to, neither. Now. I said dance. You heard him. Dance. Now, look here. I ain't got no music now. How's that? Well, it ain't the right tune, but I guess it'll have to do. <laughs> Say, Piani player, can you give me a rat out to do do do? Now you're forcing me now. I'm going to 
I'll tell you this much if my pal Dead Eye was here, that could never happen. He'd never let me. Don't just stand there, get a sheet and cover me up. Yeah. You think I want to catch my death of cold? Wait, I get out of here, I'll be right down there. That's my pal, Dead Eye. A poor boy, but a good boy. That's why he's poor. Yeah. Howdy, I'm Dead Eye. Look. <laughs> Look, boy, I'm tough. I just rode through that Los Angeles River here. <laughs> Hold that door open for me, will you? Now. This is a stick-up. Everybody, hands in the air. Everybody. <laughs> what are you guys trying to do, anyhow? Look, nobody's going to walk over Dead Eye. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm the sheriff. I'm looking for Dead Eye. If anybody sees him, let me know, will you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I said, nobody's going to walk over me. <laughs> and don't forget it. <laughs> What detained you so long? Uh, the warden. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Listen here. Where's your horse? Where's that beautiful horse, Ebenezer? Oh, I got rid of her. You see, um, old Ebby, yeah. when I went up to see the sheriff, had to leave her with someone. <clears throat> so I sold her to a big company. I got her back. Oh. Hey, Ebby. Here you are. <laughs> Of course, she's in smaller chunks now. <laughs> but I got her back. Hey, Say, how about a little drink, Father? I'm no for none, thank you. Oh, hello, Dave. Well, what are you going to have, Sonny? Sonny? <laughs> well, I'll have uh, ten fingers of milk. Ten fingers? Oh, you better make that twenty fingers. I'll drink with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, give me a shot of whiskey. Right, oh, there you are. a good, stiff shot of whiskey. Yeah, really good, huh? That's great whiskey. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's really good, huh? Really good whiskey. Ain't you going to ask for me about uh, Hopalong Cassidy? <laughs> oh, shall I? You'd better, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, if you don't want to be drinking this whiskey, you know Hopalong Cassidy only drinks sarsaparilla. Yeah, I've seen that boy in pictures. That ne guy needs a shot of whiskey, believe me. <laughs> you know, uh... No, I'm just kidding. I'm loyal to old Hoppy. I'm one of Hoppy's best old loyal friends. Why, I even wear Hoppy's clothes. I got on 14 pair of Hoppy shorts right now. <laughs> I'm mighty hot, but I'm mighty loyal. <laughs> now, this stuff got a kick to it? Got a kick to it. Huh? That's genuine rattlesnake juice. Really? Yes, sir. Aged in the rattlesnake. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I don't know where these guys get these lines, but there's never the way we rehearse them. Right? <laughs> well, here's to you, boy. Happy days. Say, that does have a kick to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why, it's sort of like a friend patting you on the back, ain't it? <laughs> hey, did you ever taste this stuff? Well, I'd know. It's pretty mild to me. Ain't got no kick at all. Ain't got no kick to it? No, sir. <laughs> the other boy used a newspaper. <laughs> boy, <laughs> you sure this thing got no kick to it, huh? No, none at all. Let me smell your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, I'm going to pat you on the head in a minute. <laughs> really no kick to it, huh? Ah, uh, give me a real drink, will you? That stuff's nothing to it at all. Okay, here's our real fine drink. There, there you are. are. I'll pour it myself. Okay. Say, who's your friend up there? That ain't the old game warden, is it? Oh, no, no. That's a, that's a moose. I shot him this morning in my pajamas. Hmm? I said I shot him in my pajamas. <laughs> well, look at me. I ain't gonna say it. 
going to say, how did he get in them, but not me, boy. <laughs> well, here we are, a little old stuff there. This is mighty fine. <clears throat> really good stuff, huh? Yeah, that's fine whiskey. Yeah, really fine stuff. Hundred proof. Hundred proof, huh? <laughs> now, in case you're interested how this works, you see, there's a hole in the glass, and we have a special container underneath here that catches all of it. Wait a minute, I'll show you the special container we got here. <laughs> That's Sam! That's Sam! <laughs> if we miss him around here, you'll know what happened to him. <laughs> hey, sir, we got... <laughs> <laughs> wow! Chicken inspector! <laughs> Howdy, Howdy ma'am. Oh. I'd lean your way, but I think I broke my toe. <laughs> Intentions were good, anyway. <laughs> Tell me, aren't you the new school, Marm? No, but I could teach you a few things. Wish I had another cuspidor to kick. Wow! <laughs> hey, did I? You're looking mighty rich. What you been stealing? Cattle? No, I'm in the big operating things now. I just stole a railroad, the Santa Fe. The Santa Fe Railroad? Yep. Well, where'd you hide it? I stole Arizona, too. <laughs> Treat me real nice, gal. I may give you Tucson. As a matter of fact, you don't have to treat me nice. You can have Tucson. <laughs> Say, did I? What kind of a horse you driving these days? Oh, I've got a new 1952 Pinto. <laughs> he's a convertible. I can always get my mommy back anytime on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's got white sidewall hooks. He's not <laughs> out of a club sit down. You club him and he'll sit down. <laughs> Yeah. Did I remember the night you left me? My temperature's going up, ma'am. Take your hands off of me, will you? <laughs> yeah, I remember the night. Did I remember it was a moonlit night? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think we were all lit that night. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Remember you took me in your arms and kissed me? Yeah. And did I remember you promised when you'd come back you was gonna marry me? <laughs> Funny, my amnesia is coming back again. Oh, give us a kiss, dead eye. Do what? I say, give us a kiss. Okay. Line up, everybody. <laughs> oh my. Mm. Well, the old place looks about the same. They got what's this? Want it, dead or alive? Well, that's the trouble with the administration. They can't make up their mind. <laughs> Wanted dead or alive? Did I? Wanted for murder, arson, rustling, hijacking, lowjacking, assault, and double parking? <laughs> that's a lie! <laughs> What's this over here? Wanted dead or alive? Did I? Reward $1.98. <laughs> A dollar, I'd turn myself in, but not for a dollar ninety-eight. There'd be more than that for myself down at the, the pet store here. I gotta get this out of here, you see. We're gonna make a fast exit in a minute. I gotta... Easiest way. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> hey, uh, piano player. You? Yeah. Uh, how about playing a nice little ditty for me, will you? Sure. And, uh, well, if you'd like to spit it out, you can, you know. <laughs> Friend of yours? <laughs> How about playing Let Me Call You Sweetheart with one finger? What? Well, I can't play with one finger. Oh, sure you can. Oh, but I can't. You can't, huh? Wait just a moment. <laughs> You're not gonna rob the safe. Who said we well, ain't? I said you ain't. Keep talking to him. I'll fix this boy. <clears throat> now listen here, mister. That's dead eye, and what he said. Give me a paper. Hold you that. Can't will you? Stop us from doing nothing. I don't care who he is. You ain't gonna rob that safe. Well, if dead eye said he is, he is. You can get your job when I was Phil Townie as a one of them tuba players. 
Here, don't worry, honey. It won't bite you. It's all right. Here you are, fella. Keep your eye on that for me, will you? Here, just move it around this way. Just keep your eye on that. That's the dirtiest trick I ever did see. What do you mean that's dirty? That's a dirty trick, and I'm a man that don't like nothing dirty. I like everything just as clean as this here glass. Don't start that, boy. There you... Yes, yeah, sir? Well, I guess I'll have to shoot off my mouth. I, <laughs> I like everything just as clean and sparkling as that. Hey, that is clean. Yes, sir. How did you ever get a glass so clean? It was easy. All I had to do was use Tide. Yes, sir, that good old Tide. Here it comes, folks. Here it comes. I want to tell you something. The Tide is finer than any wash day soap you can get. It's the miracle of the ages. It gets glasses sparkling. Bright. And look what it does to my hands. So kind to my hands. I never heard of it before. Oh, go on, If Procter and Gamble are looking, I have heard of it, you see. But that's the way the boys wrote it, and I just read them the way they bring them in. <laughs> go. Right here, Dan. Oh, yeah. Now, that there is just about the finest thing you ever heard of all in your life, is Tide. Now, if you wash your shirts or wash your vest and anything like Tide, why, you're just going to have about the cleanest clothes in town. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. You know the lady folks, the lady folks wear them beautiful dresses with the flowers. I got a hunch I'm going to warm up the hose any minute. <laughs> but you know them flowers on the wash day dresses? Yeah. Not only does the wash day, uh, this Tide get them out nice and clean, but you can smell the flowers. Yeah. Yeah, this is Tide. You see, we have to do it this way. Or they make us go to house to house and shove it through the kitchen sink pipes, you see. <laughs> now, just remember this. T-E-D-I tied. See what? No! <laughs> no! Get I... Get I... Oh, are we going to miss this boy? <laughs> Trump. Come here, listen to me. I'll get you. You mean you got your own stuff? <laughs> I was just carried away. Oh, you're back to vaudeville, I see. <laughs> now listen, T-I-D-E, and listen to this. Now, now you just listen here. Yeah. You you're, hear it? I don't hear nothing. David, that was your cue. <laughs> When it comes to the commercial, we don't mess around with no one. <laughs> yeah. well, can't I, let's go over here and rob this here safe. Well, we got to get rid of these cowboys first. How are you going to do that? That's very easy. All right, now, everybody out of here. All right. I mean, everybody. <laughs> Hurry up back, because I'm going to need not you. You're with me. Oh, oh. <laughs> come on, everybody out. Oh, come on, get out, will you? <laughs> Well, it'll tremble a little anyhow, won't you? Oh, come on, get out! Get out of here! Hey, I got an idea. Come here. Yeah? You two girls go to the door and whistle very friendly like. Would you do that? Sure, Dad. I'm happy to do it. Good, for you. good. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, don't do it so realistically. I started to go with you myself. <laughs> this gets the safe now. Quick. No, I got to play the slot machine first. What you want to play a slot machine for? Well, because I can't play the piano. That's why. <laughs> here, put this $1,000 bill in there. How are you going to get a $1,000 bill in there? Well, that's very simple. Yeah? Just water it up, throw it up in the air. Yeah. Boom. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we get change in Texas, you know. <laughs> Tell me something. Look here, did you get three lemons or three cherries? No, I got three I like likes. They're putting it down. Go yeah. get the tools, will you? Right I'll start on this thing here while we're waiting. Well, if I got... 
You didn't have a joke here, did you? I most certainly did, but it's gone now. <laughs> I get Guy Lombardo on this thing, I'll die. <laughs> How you doing? Not so good. I can't get this thing open at all. Uh, I don't... You think there's anything in there? I don't think so. I don't know. Well, we got to get this thing open if we're going to get any money. This door ain't what it used to be. What's that? This is $50,000. Well, what are you putting in two stacks for like that? This is the withholding tax. Yeah, what's the school? <laughs> Little ones take home pay. Well, after we pay our Social Security, it won't be worth the while. Let's put it back in there. Huh? Now, listen to what he says. Got... Burn it down! Burn it down! Burn it down! Thank <laughs> you. 